Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. In this lesson, what we're going to do is learn how to create decimal, left and right, and leader tabs. The first thing you'll have to do is create a buffer. We'll show you how to do that. And then you'll see located here at the bottom is an example of what you will be typing to enable you to see exactly what is going on. Now, I've only listed uh, several presidents and we've run a little tab over here and then the vice presidents to illustrate the same thing. This is uh, right justification and left justification. And down here is centering, just to show you how it, look, how it works. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is to always create a buffer. This will give us an opportunity, if we make a mistake, to go above and make a correction. To create that buffer, simply hit your Enter key several times. And then you can go back up, and you are all set. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create this height title, put the line underneath, and type in these following presidents with the tab. You'll notice I typed in list of presidents of the United States. And the next thing I'm going to do is run the home ribbon. I'm going to click right over here, which is borders and shading. Slide all the way down to the bottom, borders and shading. I'm going to grab this slider and move it down. Let's change the border or the line to this one. And you can see it's a size 3. We don't want a color, so we'll just leave it the way it is. We don't want something on the top, left, or right. We just want it below. And simply click on OK. And in doing so, you'll notice that we have a line below. Now, because we created our buffer, we can also move this line underneath. The next thing I want to do is left justify. You'll notice that at the top it has normal, that's double space. I'm going to click on no spacing. And the next thing I'm going to do there is click on where it says paragraph, click the down arrow, and you click on tabs. Upon clicking on the tab, the first tab I want is located at a 5, and I want it right justified, and I'm going to use these dots, and I'm going to click on set. Upon doing so, I then click on OK. Now, here's where our cursor is. And let me type in George Washington. I typed in George. I'm going to hit my space bar after that and simply hit the tab key. Upon doing so, you'll notice that we have the line. Now, the year that he was in office was, and I'm going to hit my, as you can see, there's a space after it. I'm going to type in the year he was in office. Okay, you'll notice I typed in the year he was in office, hit my enter key, and because we did no spacing, the line immediately goes underneath. Let me do the same thing with John Adams. Okay, I typed in John Adams. I'm going to click my space bar, and then hit my tab key again. And then you'll notice the tab goes all the way to the right. However, we said this is going to be right justified, meaning that the, number, the letters or numbers are always going to line up to the immediate right. So let me type in the year he was in office, or years, and you'll notice here as I finish up typing 01, you'll see that the line moves over, so it's right justified. Then simply hit my enter key and type in the next people, or the next presidents. Now you'll notice that we have all the presidents listed. I want to highlight this again so you can see what we did. Highlight that. Here's the word paragraph, click on it, and tab, and remember we had five, right justification, and we used these dots, and they can get several things you can do, then we clicked on set, and OK. Now, let's repeat the same procedure, but this time, let's do the presidents, but let's do it left alignment. I typed in Vice President of the United States, and I'm going to center that. And then I'm also going to place a line underneath, just like we did above, 
let's place a different one. I'm in the home ribbon, click on my down arrow, go to borders and shading, slide down, and I'm going to use this one. But I don't want it on the top, left, or right, and simply click on OK. So now we have that underneath. Place my cursor down here and make sure we click on no spacing so we can type in our presidents. Now this time, let's set our tab a little bit different. If you recall, we will click on paragraph, tabs, and this time we want to put them again at 5. However, we want them left justified, and instead of using a 2, let's use a 3. Click on set and OK. Now you'll notice I typed in John Adams. I'm going to hit my space bar a little bit. I mean one time. Hit my tab key. And what we're going to do this time is type in the year that he was in office. And I'm going to type in this time. Hit my space bar so it looks a little bit neater. I'm going to type in so you can watch this. 17. 89 space dash and 1797 okay now these will all be left justified let me show you what I mean let me do the next one Thomas Jefferson space bar tab and hit my space one more time make it look neat and type in 1797 space dash space and 1801 now you see those are are going to be left justified right here these are right justified these are left justified let me do the other one so you can see exactly how that happened okay here are the rest of the presidents and you can see they are all set a vice president so you can see they're all set up now, let me show you the decimal so you can see how to do that. But let's make that a little bit quicker. I'm going to hit my Enter key once. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I'm going to cheat. Hit Control-C to copy. And I'm going to place it right about here. Right about here. And hit Control-V to paste. Now, I want to use the decimal to do that I'm gonna highlight this okay up at the top I'm gonna to click on paragraph tab but this time I'm going to click on decimal and let's change it to this right this one right here to the lines let's click on set and okay and it lines it up now I don't know if you can see this or not but if you take these numbers and go straight up here, you'll see it lines up with uh, with the 5. Right? See how it goes straight up with the 5? That's the decimal. So hopefully all of this made sense. And you can see you can always make your papers look really nice. Thank you for watching.